welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of boys high school basketball. A tough task ahead as the Cardinals welcome one of the top teams in the state of Minnesota in the Park Center Pirates. Joe Young and Howie Shapiro sidelines and Howie an incredibly difficult portion of the schedule for the Coon Rapids Cardinals. They had Osseo and Maple Grove last week. This week it's Park Center and Rogers. Those four teams in the hunt for if not number one, number two in the conference. Well, this contest is definitely the, the toughest of the four. Yeah, Park Center comes in just one loss at the Totino Grace, the number two team in the state. They are the number three team, in the, or at least in the Metro anyway. So this is a Park Center team that's really good. They will run up the score on you. They will pressure you all game long. They come in winners of seven in a row, averaging 88 points per game during that stretch. They have a, a couple of very tight wins over other top 10 ranked teams. Uh, they have a number of guys who can get it done, but their superstar is hoping to cash in on a big trophy this season. I see what you did there, Cash Shavis. He is good, 20, almost 21 points a game, five rebounds a game, six and a half uh, assists a game, almost uh, four steals a game. He's in the running for Mr. Basketball. He is awfully good. He's committed to Washington to play after high school. Their coach, uh, Coach Ward, said, as he goes, that's how we go. So Cardinals are going to have the work cut out for him for sure. Well, and on the on the flip side, the Cardinals have to just try and keep their their positivity up. They knew when they looked at the schedule that this was going to be a, a tough part of the the season. Uh, one of the we're going to look at tonight Kenny Jones. He's played most of the year off the bench, uh, but he's putting up good numbers. He gets the chance to start here tonight. Yeah, and if, they, if they're going to be successful, they're going to have to hit from the perimeter. And we've seen Kenny get hot from beyond the arc. So they're going to look for him. They're going to, they're going to feed him the ball. He's going to get that opportunity to shoot from outside. And he's one of the players that they definitely have to get going tonight if they have an opportunity to win. Well, a big challenge for the Cardinals lies ahead. Number three in state, the Park Center Pirates. Tip-off is next on CTN. Hey guys, excited to be a part of tonight's broadcast. Coon Rapids coming off two consecutive losses, one to Maple Grove and one to Osseo. Coach O told me that those were two very good defensive teams. He said, especially on Friday night, his team struggled a lot with turnovers. He said they learned that they can't just dribble through mess and expect good outcomes. They needed to put pressure on defense and make that next play. He said that'll be key tonight if they don't want to get blown out by Park Center. Guys. Yeah, you know, in that Joe in that game that lost to Osseo, you know, they felt that this was an opportunity for them to, to really I mean, they, they knew they didn't know the test would be quite the way it is. A lot of turnovers, a lot of things that they didn't like, Coach O did not like about the way they played against Osseo. Hoping to correct some of those things here tonight against uh, a really good ball club. Six eight Chang Ring wins the jump ball and Park Center starts on offense. Chavis trying to get it inside the ring, defended well out off of ring, and the Cardinals force the turnover. Yeah, nice job there by Kenny Jones to kind of get a piece of it and get it off the Park Center player for that turnover. Freeman across midcourt, sets up right wing. And boy, the defense collapses quickly from Chavis. Oh. Young 
in trouble, was getting tripped up, lost the handle out of bounds, turnover to Park Center. That was a heck of a block by Javis as he came back on the back side. You can see it here. Just get all ball there against Jerry Freeman. We talked about Cash Javis in the opening. He's uh, a contender for Mr. Basketball here in the state of Minnesota, going to the University of Washington to play. And uh, leads the uh, team in just about every single category. He is, uh, he's really good. It'll, it'll, be, uh, it'll be fun to watch him. Already providing a little spark on his defensive skills and we're uh, and I think and I think rebounding. Well, they're they're just changing basketballs. I think rebounding is going to be important for the Cardinals here to, tonight felt as that well. That one was maybe a little yeah. flat. Yep. <laughs> Osio had more offensive rebounds than Coon Rapids had defensive rebounds in that game on Friday night. So yeah, that tells that tells Coach O the guys need to do a much better job on the boards. Chavis up top, working against Young, drives and comes up short, rebound. Tip to Hetler, and a foul called before it was poked away. It's going to be called against Ari Gooch. Yeah, again, that was uh, that was Kenny Jones getting in there, making that play on, on the defensive side. Inbound goes to Freeman, right corner. Full court pressure from Park Center. Jordan into the front court, hands off. Jones drives the lane with the left hand and scores. Cardinals up. Early lead here. And a well-executed play left yes. the lane wide open for Kenny Jones. He was able to use his body to shield the ball. Jump shot for Chavis won't go. Rebound tip back out to him. Ring now. Puts it on the floor against Jordan. His little floater won't fall. The rebound. And the three-point basket for Ari Gooch. And, I mean, you, you talk about uh, good activity and rebounding on the offensive end. Park Center doing a clinic there, getting three opportunities to make that bucket. And Gooch hits the three, and the Cardinals turn it over. Chavis will inbound to Freelix. Hands off to Ring. Getting around Young. His shot won't fall. The rebound for Omotoyimbo. Able to tip it back out. Jump shot is off the mark for Freelix. Cardinals have the rebound and want to push the pace. Hetworth thought about the shot and then had to bring it back down. Pass got through the hands of Kenny Jones and now he hands it off. To Young, Jackson Young around ring, scoops it, but off the rim, Freelix the rebound, up court, Gooch lays it home. Well, you're going to watch Park Center run all night long, and you know, when I talk to uh, Trent Witz, he's one of the assistants, actually the basketball, uh, director of basketball operations at Park Center, I said, you know, what are the things some, you need to improve? He says, he says turning the ball over. And a 13 and one team, that's what they're working on is, uh, you know, they run so quickly, sometimes they have a hard time keeping possession. Freeman gets it back up top to Young. He'll find a little bit of room. The floater is short. King has the rebound for the Pirates. He'll hand it off to Freilix, who pushes it ahead. Omotoyimbo working against Jones along the baseline. Able to throw it up. Bucket will count, plus the foul. Yeah, Freilix getting the start here tonight. Uh, usual starter, Jackson Folks. Averages about 14 and a half points out of the lineup tonight with a little, he's dinged up a little bit. Omotoyimbo able to convert on the three point play. Eight unanswered for Park Center, an 8 2 lead after three minutes. High pass to Jones, right side, back up top. Hetmore looking for room. His pass off the mark to Jordan. Pirates will run the other way. Oma Toyimbo, the two-handed jam. Well, you can see they love to push the basketball, and it's successful for these Pirates. 
quickly to the other end, but Freeman in amidst the trees has it swatted away out of bounds. And that's what will set a team apart. Not only are they good in transition, but they're all back at the defensive end. Well, they, they run. They run all night long, Whether no matter, no matter what end of the court you're on, they're running. They're hustling. Freeman hands off. Atwer for three. That's not going to go. Gooch got an early jump. And then it was tipped away out of bounds by Jones. So Pirates will maintain possession. Cardinals will call a timeout. Trailing by... Eight. Did you see the cat-like quickness of Dave Emmy and going after that loose basketball, making sure it didn't get by him? It was too fast for my eyes. Uh, no, he was just like, all he did was reach out nonchalantly, holding the camera, talking on the phone, eating something. He just does it all. Well, while we have a timeout on the floor, we go down to the floor for Lexi Schreiner. Lexi. Hey guys, how we had mentioned that senior Jackson Folks is out of Park Center's lineup. Just elaborating on that a little bit more. He has a strain, sprained thumb and he'll be out for a couple of weeks. And that is a big hole that Park Center is trying to replace. He sprained it in the Adina game. He went up for a layup and got pushed. His hand hit the wall as he was trying to catch himself. He was worried it was just broken, but it is just sprained and it's on his shooting hand. So that's why he's not out there tonight, guys. Little uh, sloppy handoff just across midcourt. Freeman waits for the pressure to go by, and there's the turnover that you had talked about just moments ago, Howie. Yeah, and the Cardinals need to make them pay when they turn the ball over. Three-pointer is off the mark for Chavis. Cardinals control the rebound. And you mentioned it was such a smart play by Jerry Freeman just to let that defense go by him. He knew it was coming. Yeah. Left side, Young for three. That's well off the mark. Rebound for Chavis. He will lead the charge, and he will finish it, his first, po first points of the game. Again, he gets that quickness down. He gets that uh, through the basket, 12-4 in favor of Park Center. Young working into the low post. Gets it to Freeman, gets his man in the air. Outmatched, he didn't want to try and go up against the six foot no. seven inch uh, Kate Ring big, or big, six eight. Sorry, six eight. Yeah, don't don't shortchange him. Ring at the other end comes up short, but a foul on the play. We're getting two chances from the free throw line. It's on uh, Connor Jordan. His first team second. First. Parker Stoll in for the first time today. I think Carter would love to see uh, Parker Stoll become part of this rotation. You know, he's dealt with injuries this season. I know the Cardinals were looking for big things from him. Ring able to hit them both, push it to a 10 point lead. Cardinals passing through the pressure. Cross court to Freeman left side. They work it back up top. Hatworth for three. It's off the mark. Gooch catches it on the run. Long pass on Matoyimbo. Finishes underneath. Yeah, just a great play. Again, getting behind the defense. Nobody there for the Cardinals to trouble him, and he makes that easy basket. They get a hand in on the dribble and get another turnover. Mameni oh. trying to give Chavis the alley-oop. He couldn't quite handle it cleanly. Cardinals get to the other end quickly, poked away from Freeman out of bounds. It'll stay with the Cardinals. You could see his athleticism in Chavis. He was way, way yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's a good one. Connor Jordan up top to Freeman, slashing toward the lane. Now finds himself up against Oma Toyimbo. They'll work it back outside. Hetworth for three, rolls across the top of the rim, punched out of bounds 
by Kenny Jones, and it'll be Pirates ball. Pet we're trying to find his range from outside the arc. Many will bring it across midcourt for the Pirates. Hands it off. Gooch drives and hammers it all. Well, again, the, the, the Boy, Coach O's not happy. The defense just opened up for Gooch. Nobody was there. I mean, he's just going to go right around and make easy flush for Gooch. And Park Center up by 14. A dunk with authority for yeah. Ari Gooch. Yeah. Co Coach O not happy with that he's effort. Got, he's got seven points. He and Omo Toyimbo each with seven points to lead the Pirates. And I, Cardinals knew it was going to be tough. Didn't expect it to get this tough this early. And another timeout on the floor. We go down to Lexi. Hey, guys, so I had asked assistant coach Trent Witt what their mindset was going into tonight's game, and he said it was just to focus on themselves. He said they have to rebound the ball well. If they control rebounding, then they'll control the game pace. We're kind of seeing that right now. They wanted to wear Coon Rapids out and play a fast style of offense, pressuring the team to try to turn the ball over and get dunks like we just saw. Guys? Well, they have created some turnovers. They have definitely shown their speed and their athleticism. Yes, that is their style. They, they'll push it all night long. Three-pointer wouldn't go for Young, and there's another dunk for Gooch. Freeman baiting him, getting him in the air, but not able to finish, gets it out. Stoll will take the three. That one's going to be short. Jordan tips it out of bounds. Pirates ball. Yeah, you, you can see why Park Center is the number three team, number three rated squad. Uh, they're they're good at both ends of the floor. I mean, they've got the size, they've got the strength, they got the speed, and they've got the athleticism to dominate. And pretty much all of this done without Chavis. Yeah. He's had a, a couple of looks that have not worked. He's got one basket. Yeah, just two points. He went uh, coast to coast. Gooch for three. That one won't fall. Freeman has the rebound. Trying to push it up court for Stoll. Back for Freeman. Good defensive move by Morky to force the turnover, but the Cardinals able to steal it back. Jones for three. That one's short. Rebound off of the Pirates. It'll be Cardinal ball. The uh, Cardinals just really cold from beyond the arc. Number 21, Jason Russ. Well, and most of their looks have had a hand in their face. The as impressive as their offense has been, considering they've scored 20 points in just over seven minutes, yeah, uh, their defense has been just as impressive. Oh, absolutely! Uh, for the Pirates, and they're smothering Coon Rapids right now, and they're really taking them out of any sort of rhythm and flow. Jason Russ in for the first time for the Cardinals. Young draws the foul underneath, and will get himself to the line to shoot two. Well, Coach Witt said, you know, this isn't a typical, uh, this is a little smaller squad height-wise, obviously, than they've dealt with in the past. But uh, their athleticism certainly makes up for it. Young rolls the first across the top of the rim. Able to hit the second. Cardinals need every point they can get at this point. Oh, absolutely. Three-pointer is off the mark for Memony. Cardinals quickly down court. Stole for three. It's short. Rebound tipped around. Controlled by Morky. The other end, Chavis drops it home on the break. He does just a great job of adjusting his body mid-flow and going to the other side for the bucket. 
Well, and again, down court in a flash. Yes. Pirates bring a lot of energy. Shot wouldn't go for Jason Russ. And he's going to. And a foul is going to be yeah, called as he foul. tried to steal it back. So that'll be his first team third. Chavis, left side, ring wants three, it's good. He's got 10, no. He's got five. five. Park Center up by 20. Ross battling his block, got it back. Second shot won't go. Ring has the rebound, hands it off to Chavis. Chavis will blow past Stoll and drop the reverse. Again, you see that quickness. And just the length of his stride. Yeah. Able to, to just speed right past Parker Stoll. Uh, and that's why he's going to an uh, institution like the University of Washington to play after his high school career is through. I'm a fan. Yeah, Purple me too. and gold. Yep. Huskies. Yep. I'd like to see the Vikings draft their quarterback in the upcoming draft. That would be nice. <laughs> he's awfully good. He is. Michael Penix, he's really good. Cardinals are going to turn it over on one that just went through the hands of Jason Russ. Back to the game. Cardinals number 20, Connor Jordan. Jordan checks back in. Russ just took his eye off the ball. Yep. Slipped through and into the backcourt. Just over midway through this first half. Well, you saw something on his nose. I think he got hit in the nose with a basketball during warm-ups. Oh, they're going to say because he didn't have possession. Yeah. It's not a backcourt violation? Huh. Because he never technically had possession of the basketball in the front court. So the Cardinals uh, fortunate. Belpino lets one get between his hands. Uh, and fortunate for him that Gooch had a piece of it before it hit the ground, or else that probably would have been a turnover there. Almost a turnover there. Yeah. Three in a row where they just normally sure-handed easy plays that have not been made. Freilich's down court. Gooch thought he was going to the corner, went to the baseline instead. Shot hit the bottom of the rim. He comes up a little slow as the Cardinals push the tempo. Yeah, but they get back so quickly on defense. Stole for three. That's not going to fall. Freilich yeah, has the rebound. The Cardinals are ice cold from beyond the arc. I don't think they've hit, they haven't hit one yet. Pull up for Freelix, rolls around and out. Gooch will push it, push it back outside. Memony back up top for Ring. Drives, comes up empty. Kenny Jones has the rebound for the Cardinals. Long three ball is good for Jackson Young. Well, they certainly were like uh, Jackson Young to heat up here tonight. Gooch works to the baseline. A little fadeaway is good. Jones, left-handed hook shot, won't fall. Belpedio had a piece of the rebound, but punched away. Recovered by Aiden Memony. Memony, left side for Omotoyimbo. Works his way down low and scores. Oh, just a nice job backing himself down and 
getting that bucket. He has nine. Number nine. Number nine. Jackson Young works it back up top, gets it back from Stoll. Ring extends on defense. Trying to work against the longer ring. Gets it over to Jordan. His three-pointer won't go. Yeah, and, there, and there's Felix the rebound. No one there for the rebound. Freelix, long, long three is good. That one too tall for Jackson Young, able to save it though. Back to counter Jordan, found Kenny Jones. Then he was stripped by Gooch, but it went off of the knee of Omotoyimbo and out of bounds. So the Cardinals will maintain possession. Jerry Freeman. Number 14, Gavin DeVries. Gavin DeVries getting his first action so far here tonight. He's the Cardinals' second leading scorer against Osseo. No. Young gets it into Jordan, up top to Jerry Freeman. Young runs into traffic, back out. Jordan for three, that one won't fall. Rebound by Chavis. Long pass up court to Ring. He'll take the three, it won't fall. Gooch has the rebound, saves it to Ring. The two-handed dunk. Uh, Gooch with a great assist. This is able to save that basketball. Now, now a steal, steal. and a Point lead for the Park Center Pirates. They are impressive, Joe Young. They are very impressive. I think it's going to down on both ends of the court, limiting what Coon Rapids wants to do offensively, limiting the Cardinals to one shot, and then getting that rebound and then well, quickly Gooch, getting it back down court. Yeah, and Gooch's save on the on the baseline yep. and put it right in the wheelhouse for Ring who was charging the basket. Yep. He goes in and big two-handed dunk. And before the Cardinals get to where they got to midcourt, only to have Gooch steal it, go in and a windmill jam, his third dunk at least in the contest. We've seen at least six dunks. Oh, and yeah. we're, we're still uh, almost midway through the first half. The save there to get it to ring for that dunk was amazing. And Gooch has got some ups. Yes, he does. Again, as stated earlier, the, the Cardinals knew this was going to be difficult. They did not expect it to be this difficult, no. this quickly. No, exactly. Down 30 with five and a half to play in the first half. Young working against Chavis. Able to get a pick from Jordan. And then oh. right side, bad pass, and here's Chavis. And he'll throw it down. Slam City here by Park Center. He has eight, 40 to eight. Yeah, they, they do not disappoint, that's for sure. No, definitely not. They hustle, they play clean. I'm on only three fouls. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea how many steals, but uh, a lot. Clearly dominating. The rebounds at their end, they've also had a fair number of offensive ones. Ring for three, two flat. Counter uh, Jordan has a long rebound. But uh, their defense has been impressive. A little spin move for Jackson Young. Yeah, it was an impressive move to get around the defense. Hand. Minnesota, Minnesota. 
Oh, Chavis. Three-pointer for Chavis at Chavis, the other end will Chavis, answer. Yeah, Chavis with 11. Freeman kicks it back out. Belpedio thought about it. Young in the corner, spins baseline, spins back. Jordan up top. DeVries for three. That's off the back iron. Omatoyimbo hands to Chavis on the run. Trying to lay it up. Is going to draw the foul and go to the line to shoot two. Again, he's just so athletic, even, the, even the with... he leans back. Well, yeah, with a player on him. To try and lay it up as soft as he can. Just not quite soft enough that time, but he does get to the line to shoot two. Hit every part of the iron, but eventually found the nylon. He's got the last six points in the ball game, or the last six points for Park Center anyway. Jackson Hetwer back in for Coon Rapids. A little more than four minutes left in the opening half. A dominant performance by the number three ranked Pirates. Yeah, they have a 35 point lead here with 4.07 remaining in the opening half. We got Chavis and Gooch with 13 points each. Omotoyimbo at nine. How many? Number nine. Number nine. Freeman underneath, Young, little pump fake, works back out and, and travel. Yeah, I mean, just great defense. Yeah, they surrounded him, really forcing yeah, him. As I said a couple of times, their defense is, is as impressive as their offense. Oh, absolutely. And they've played clean, real solid up tempo game. Yes, and very, really, it's like you said, disciplined basketball, but uh, very impressive. Almost Toyimbo working baseline, kicks it back out to Chavis. Gets a pick, pulls up for the jump shot, won't go. Tipped up and in by Morky. Yeah, Morky's 6 7. Cardinals throw it away. Turnover. In the game, the Cardinals number 11, Parker stole. And that, uh, as we talked about, two tough losses to a couple of the top teams in the Northwest Suburban last week. They come home, and they have the, this, their longest homestand of the season. But uh, it's also against the toughest schedule of the season. Yeah. And uh, here you have, you know, no time to recover from Maple Grove and Asu. You got number three Park Center coming in. And you know you got Rogers coming here on Thursday. And then, and then you have Blaine on Saturday, which is a, a, a very winnable game. It's a winnable game. It's certainly not the murderer's not role the, they no. will, will have been coming off no, of. This has been pre it's a pressure cooker for sure. Inbound alley -oop. Laid home nice and soft by Ari Gooch. It's the alley inbound play. Freeman working against Gooch. No. Time runs out. Gooch at the other end. This one, he just drops in. Well, you know, that time, Jordan, there were two, two Park Center players. Jordan had to take Chavis and leaving him all alone. Well, give and go. Gooch comes up with the slot. Boy, Gooch is Stoll been a... thought he got fouled, but it wasn't called. Chavis. Waits, three-pointer is short. Jordan has the rebound. Gooch has been an, maybe the most impressive player on this on this floor so far tonight. 17 points to lead all scorers. Three, four, three, four dunks, and let's bring in a little defense. Look at that block. Just great job behind, making sure he didn't get any contact on, on the body. Parker Stoll working against 
Trail it. Three pointer is good for DeVries. Ring back up top for Chavis. Now to ring in the low post. Works his way underneath and scores. Just so Definite mismatch oh. against Parker Stoll oh. down low. Yeah, able to use his size so easily. He has nine. Also. Number nine. Number nine. DeVries in the corner for three. This time it won't fall. Chavis tips the rebound a couple of times. Then controls on the run. Back to a look for Ring. He can't get it to fall, but he will get the foul, and he will go to the line and shoot two. Third for Connor Jordan. Ring to the line for the Pirates. He might have got him. Yeah. Just a bit. They play fast, they're creative, they've got a bunch of athletes. They really do. And they've got a 40-point lead with just over a minute to go in this first half. They have not hit triple digits yet this season. Well, if they keep playing the way they are now, they may. Already over 50 points. But they've been in the 90s quite a few times. Yes. Like I said at the at the top of the show, averaging 88 a game over their recent seven-game win streak. Well, f five times they've scored over uh, over 90 points, 90 or more. High 80s a few times. That were able to save it, got it to Freeman. Freeman underneath, it's behind Russ and out of bounds. Chavis will get called for the offensive. He'll knock down the three-pointer. Uh, just for practice. An offensive call has been called on the Pirates. Yeah, took, uh, his took a little bit of a charge. Much smaller Jerry Freeman. So that would be his first team fourth on Park Center. Jason Russ driving against ring. Shot won't fall. Pirates right back on the attack. Ring thought about the three. Puts it on the floor instead. Gets a foul. We'll go to the line issue two. That one's going to be on Freeman. That'll be his second. That puts Park Center in the bonus situation with 17 fouls on Coon Rapids. That one Kenny won't Jones. fall for Chang Ring. <laughs> Missed them both. Good rebound by Kenny yeah, Jones. Yeah, yeah, Kenny got up there. Good pressure from Xavier Freelix. Tips it away out of bounds. Not going to make it easy on the Cardinals. Even up 42. Jones putting it on the floor against Memony. And now Stoll working in Freelix into the front court. Stolen away. And here's Ring on the run. Able to get around some pressure. He's coming up limping oh, yeah. a little he, bit. He came down on his ankle pretty, pretty, turned it a little bit. Stole for three in the corner, way off the mark, and the buzzer sounded before. That was flung to the other end, but a dominant first half for the visiting Pirates. They go to the locker room up 57 to 13. Tough one, and as we talked about, not sure they expected it to be this tough, but 
Coach O is with Lexi on the sidelines. Lexi. Hey, Coach. The Park Center just seems to be controlling a lot of this game and momentum right now. What are you going to try to do to gain some more possession in the second half? Well, I'll tell you right now, in honor of band being here, Ryan Palmer is a phenomenal band director. Uh, right now, we're playing like the second French horn in the band. We got to play better. So plain and simple, like, we got to do better. We got to take care of the ball. Something we're over dribbling that gets us in trouble. I mean, I don't know. Their light year is better than us. It helps when, you know, you're able to load up however you want for your roster. So. Thank you, Coach. All, All right. right. Send it back to you guys. Thank you, Lexi. Yeah. And, Doesn't get better uh, than that. You, you have to love the band metaphor, the second French horn. I'm playing the second cowbell. We'll be back for the second half after this on CTA. good ones for you Joe. How do football players stay cool? By standing next to the fans. <laughs> what kind of tea do football players drink? Penalty. Why can't you play football with pigs? Because they hog the ball. Uh. Back at the Fieldhouse Park Center. The number three ranked team showing why in that first half. Cardinals actually scored the first basket of the ball game. Kenny Jones right down the middle of the lane, but it was pretty much all Park Center after that. Uh, they're just flying offensively and defensively. And uh, a number of dunks. Ari Gooch, 17 points in the first half, four or five by way of the dunk. And the Cardinals baskets few and far between as uh, they really haven't been able to, to put up much of a fight. They, they really haven't and I think Coach O, you know, he knew coming in this was going to be a, a, a tall task for sure. But 13 and, points in the first half. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't think that's what the Cardinals would have to, to end the first half. So I understand his frustration. And there are the two French horns. Yeah. And the, and the second French horn saying, what the heck, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Well, but, if you want to move up to seat number one, you got to be better. You and got, that's yeah. the call from the coach of the Cardinals. We have to be better. Second half, right around the corner on CTN. you know, major recreational equipment like RVs, campers, converted buses, and boats are allowed on residential property in Coon Rapids, but you are limited to two items that must be registered and operable. And any vehicle parked at a home for more than 12 hours must not exceed a certain size. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to CoonRapidsMN.gov. just talk about playing the possession and not playing the score. Uh, and if our guys can do that, hopefully we won't get sloppy in the second half. 
So like I said, we're just focused on playing the possession and not the score. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I will send it back to you guys. Thank you, Lexi. And that's a good way. And it, 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 kind of this, kind of a similar message to uh, what we had from uh, Maple Grove's girls coach last Mark, week. Mark Cook, yep. When they were up real big. Yep. Uh, just saying, you know, you go out there and play your game. Do what we're asking of you. We'll let you know when we're going to change strategy. Well, yeah. And playing the possession, meaning focus, continue to, to strive to get better, correct each possession, win each possession. Yeah, you and know. They've done a great job at both ends. They, they really have. And there's not a lot you can say that they have not done correctly here in this first <laughs> half, obviously, 57 points. But uh, I know a coach will always find those things that he wants to tinker with, wants to work a little, he or she want to work on. And, and so, you know, you take the good things, which are a lot of, and work on, on some of the things that maybe not so much. Jackson Young's three-pointer won't go. Leads to a Chavis breakaway. And another dunk. He has 15. Freeman. Takes it up strong, gets the foul on Freelix. We'll go to the line issue two. And the Cardinals really need to, to look at it that way as well. If they look at the score, you know, it's impossible not to hang your shoulders a bit, seeing that as a somewhat insurmountable lead. But, you know, win this next five minutes. Win small yeah, wins. chunks of time, correct. And I, I but I, I really, I, I like uh, James Ware's take play the possession not yep. the score yep exactly freeman able to hit them both chavis steps inside jump shot is good we didn't see a lot of him in the early goings no. of the first half but he's he's picked it up he's got 17. well and they clearly haven't needed him no. so much? No. Interesting to see, you know, a couple of their wins, like over Minnetonka, who's a, a top 10 team. Um, Three-pointer for Young. Just beautiful. But uh, there was another one on North, uh, Lakeville North. Yep. Uh, just wins by a couple of points. It would be interesting to see how that played out with these this team and, and as explosive as it is to be back and forth it's the team that was keeping up well they lost by 10 to totino in park center their only loss on the season yeah six game win streak to start and then the loss to totino and seven looking for number eight here tonight fade away won't fall for freelix but Gooch has the rebound. Three-pointer won't fall for Memony. Gooch just tapped the rebound, tried to get it over to Omo Toyembe. Instead, another opportunity for Freelix will fall for awesome. Memony, rather. Yeah, multiple looks for the Pirates that time, but uh, they can't get the, bu the bucket that trip down court. Three-pointer for Young. He's cleaning in. Well, you know, that, that's one player. <laughs> On the Cardinals team, for sure, that uh, when he gets in a rhythm, he can feel it. He's got a dozen, a three-point answer. Way outside. At the other end for Chavis. He has 20. Kenny Jones in the corner, and it pried away by Freelix, able to regain possession. Freeman finds some room, kicks it back out. Young for three. He's heating up. You know, I think, yeah, Coach O. Timeout, Park Center. Let's let's feed Jackson Young, get, see if he can get hot from beyond the arc. And uh, he certainly has 15 points on the night of Nine the Cardinals of them 24. In, the, in this first two yep. and a half minutes of the second half. And that's not right up against that arc line. That's well behind it. Well, and all three have been super clean. Yeah. See, the, the small wins were, you know, two and a half minutes in to this second half, and the Cardinals have, have won this far by an 11 to 7 score. Yeah. Look at the standings. There you see him, Totino Grace, 
Number two in the state. Uh, they, as you mentioned, they're the only team to knock off Park Center. They're Rogers, Osseo, Maple Grove, and Park Center all right behind them on their heels. That's the, the four straight that the Cardinals are yeah. facing right now. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's about as difficult schedule as you can get. It started with uh, a trip to Maple Grove on Wednesday. They were here against Osseo Friday. Uh, and then they have, I think, what, two more? Well, tonight and Thursday. And I think and they Saturday. have Saturday home at as Blaine. well. Yep. Oh, or is that at Blaine? That, no, that's home against Blaine. Gooch underneath gets his first points in the second half. He has 19. Yeah, so a five-game home stretch, but we have to face some of the tough comp toughest competition you'll see all year. Yeah, you know, Gooch comes in averaging about 16 points a game. Well, he's just been all over the floor. He really has. He's going to be called for the foul here as he gets backed down by Jerry Freeman. Took the tougher part of that contact, but no blood. He'll keep going. Jeremy Freeman to the line for the Cardinals. <laughs> Quick little huddle between free throws for the Pirates. Freeman able to hit one and two. Jerry has five on the night. Stepped on the sideline. Yeah, must have. Omotoyimba. Yeah, must have. Jordan gets it into Freeman. Gooch there to defend. Still full, full court pressure from Park Center. Well, that's their style. This one tips away, but right to Kenny Jones. He's blocked, but a foul is called. That's about as clean as you can yeah. get there. For uh, Buna Morky. Jones to the line for the Cardinals. So Kenny Jones will go to the line to shoot two. Rolls right across the top of the iron and out. Second. Memony into the corner, almost to Inbe for three, it's good. Right, I mean, so many players have that range from from beyond the arc for this Park Center squad. And almost to Inbe now into double digits yep. with a dozen. On the run, Jones rolls it across the top, rebound by Gooch. We're going to call Freeman. Freeman going to get called for the reach in yep. at midcourt. That'll be his third. In inbound goes to Aiden Memony. Hands it off. Chavis gets a pick, finds some room. Jump shot won't fall. Rebound by Hetworth. Underneath to counter Jordan, his shot won't fall. I, I, I like the design of the play, a nice feed from Hetwer. Omo Toyimbe fouled and will go to line to shoot two. On Jordan, I believe. Yep. That's his fourth personal. Just the second. To the line for the Pirates.
That one thought about rolling back out and then stayed down for Oma team Toyimbe. At 20 points for Chavis, 19 for Gooch. Now 13, make it 14 for Oma Toyimbe. Young finds his way to the lane, draws a foul, will go to the line issue two. I think we're about where we were in, in foul totals as we were the entire, the entire first half. Exactly. I think Cardinals had Cardinals had six, I think, team fouls at the at the half. And I and I think that four for Park Center, I believe, if I remember correctly. You're a better man than I for for coming close to remembering. I remember they were neither were in the bonus. Right. Young able to hit them both. He he's set, got 17. Yeah, he's got 17. He's heated up here in the second half for Coon Rapids. That pass, too tall for Twin Cities Orthopedics is proud to be for Morky and out uh, of bounds and turned over to the Cardinals. And so here we are, a little more than five minutes in the second half. Cardinals have won the second half they have. so far, 15 14. But, you know, and again, I, I'm sure that's what Coach O's message, among other things, were to the guys in, during the break is, you know, let's, let's see if we can win this second half. Let's play some better basketball. Let's play a little more discipline. Let's not turn the ball over. Well, you saw it force a timeout by Park Center in early in this second half. Pass was swatted away, recovered by Russ. He's going to get the foul on Morkey. Probably his third. Team. But you saw it, the, the fact that, and again, going, going back to Coach Ware's message uh, of play every possession. Played by the possession yep. and not by the score. Exactly. Uh, they can't be happy with what they've seen no. as far as getting into their rhythm, playing their, their style, getting the tempo the way it was in that first half, uh, and controlling the game. Instead, Coon Rapids is playing right with them, and even, as I mentioned, through the first five minutes of this second half, outscoring. Hey. Gooch underneath. Again, Gooch shows his quickness there as he's able to go to the other side of the basket. Stoll kicks it to the corner. Hetworth for three. That one's short. Rebound by Memony. Memony races to the other end. No one there. They'll take it to the rim and score. Stoll leaves it back for Russ underneath, low post. Jackson Young lost the handle as he went to spin against Chavis. Give a shout out to uh, Donnie, Donnie Bright watching from sunny and warm. The one and only. Warm Florida. I'm sure he's uh, getting some golf in as well as some sunshine. And we, uh, we hope, Donnie, that you're having a great time and looking forward to seeing you once baseball season starts. It will be here before you know. I know. And I'm sure he's keeping an eye on any baseball players. Oh, I'm sure. Also uh, play on the basketball squad. A couple of chances won't fall for Park Center and then eventually ends up out of bounds. It'll stay with the Pirates. There you see that, I mean, just some good opportunity underneath, and Dave Emming kind of nonchalantly waves at the basketball as it goes by him. 
Chavis gets it into Gooch, gets it back in the corner. Matched up against Russ. Take him to the middle, kick it out. Nemini for three, it's good. Oh. Again, just uh, finding that open man beyond the arc, and he's able to hit. Belpedio drives to the paint, and Trey will do for the finish. Quickly to the other end, and Memini scores plus the foul. I'm going to call that on Young. Cardinals are going to call a timeout to talk about things here. Trailing 80-32 to 32 with 11.04 remaining in this second it's half, Joe. And well, Memini scored the last seven points. The nice wrap around. The Pirates will have a chance at the free throw stripe when we return to action. But before then, we're going to check in again with Lexi Schweiner. Lexi. Oh, we're not. Never mind. I misheard. Don't mind me over here. I'm sure Lexi has something to, I mean, to I mean, say. She, she's she welcome does. to join us. Let's go. Let's go to her. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, just a little side note here on the sidelines. Obviously not the outcome that Coon Rapids wants, but I think something that Coach O told me before this game, you can see tonight. And Jerry Freeman and Jackson Young, they're really the playmakers. And when they're moving the ball, good stuff happens. And when they hold the ball, the Coon Rapids team kind of struggles. They set the tone for sure. Overall, Coach O said they're great kids who work their tails off and are having the season that they deserve. Guys? Thank you. And they scored, those two scored the first 14 of the first 15 points of the second half for uh, Coon Rapids. And think of that. They, they scored 13 points in the entire first half. Yeah. Uh, they have 19 here just seven minutes into the, into the second. So Aiden Memony at the line with a chance for the three-point play, and he makes good on it. So all eight of his points have come in there, the last eight points for Park Center. That worked. Fires a three, that won't fall. Rebound tipped around. Young controls it over Chavis, drives to the lane, comes up empty, gets another chance. Jackson and Young it home. Well, to Lexi's point, Jackson Young just hustles, and he's around the basketball at all times, and he's gonna he's gonna get his points, and he just a great job staying with it. Chavis a little floater in the lane. Well, He's got 19 points yep. in the game, 13 in this second half. Oh, yeah. Again, that's as many points as the Cardinals scored in the first half. Turnaround Jackson jumper Young. is good for Jackson Young. Yeah, 21 of the 36 points scored by Jackson Young. The other end, Gooch gets it to fall. He has 23. He's the leading scorer for Park Center right now. By a point. Yep. Those two have combined for 45. It's a great move by Russ as the pace has picked up here over the last couple of minutes. Oh. Chavis, a long three-pointer with pressure, knocks it down, and now he's your leading scorer. That, that young man is very impressive. He really is. Hands. Hands. Kick back out. Parker Stoll looks for room, kicks it back out to Russ. But this one's going to be a charge. Called on Stoll. Yeah, I'm and sure. It's taken again by, by Chavis. I'm sure every time that uh, Parker Stoll gets hit hard or falls to the floor, he's always concerned. He's, he's dealt with a couple of injuries so far this season. And uh, he certainly, that young man certainly wants to stay healthy as he wants to contribute down the stretch for this Cardinal basketball squad. Chavis weaving through traffic, draws a foul, and will go to the line issue two. And that's going to be, I believe, that's Jordan. That's his fifth. Kenny Jones will come back in. Chavis will go to the line issue two. 
two. And once the clock goes past the nine minute mark, it will not stop. It will not. Chavis hits them both. A 50 point lead, 52 point lead. He's got 27 now. <laughs> Cardinals couldn't find a way past the pressure, turn it over. Chavis lays it in at the other end. Belpedio from the corner, that three won't go. Jones has the rebound in the paint. He is fouled. That's the last foul to give for the Pirates. Cardinals sitting at five team fouls here in the second half. Young thought about giving to Belpedio, keeps it himself, now gives it to Belpedio in the corner, stole for three, it's good. He's dropped that one. He's got five. Memony from the free throw line will get it to go. Omotoyembe puts it right back. Again, just using his size to dominate underneath the basket. Yeah, this is an impressive Park Center squad. Chavez on the break, windmill jam, and he chunked it off the front of the rim. Gooch tries to flip it back under to Morky, and then the foul is going to mean Memony goes to the line. Yeah, big smile on his face. He knew he had that opportunity for the flush, and right off the front of the iron, and then onto the floor. That smile on the face of Coach uh, James Ware. So, yeah, they, he knows they, they've got win number 14 chalked up here. And then he one of two, and then it was tipped right back in. And Bucket and the foul. Are you kidding? Wow. They so call the foul on DeVries. Oh no, they're calling it on Jones. Jones. The second. That's number seven. I don't know that I've ever seen that. So Morky, an opportunity for three point play. And he comes up empty. Jones has the rebound. 97 to 41. Stoll looking for room against Memony, throws it up, comes up empty. Gooch on the move, gets it to Chavis, drives a baseline, reverse is good. Well, you talk about the quickness. He's got 31, but you talk about the quickness of drives. Gets to the other side and able to get that basket, and the Cardinals are going to turn it over. Yeah, and I, I'm not sure if. Uh, Feet got tangled up a little bit. Chavis walked away just trying to make sure he wasn't called for a foul. 99-41, so next point puts Park Center into triple digits for the first time this season. Will it be a three-pointer for Chavis? Yes, it will. He dropped it. Looking for the answer. Comes up short. Gooch. Gooch. And the Pirates fans here who came are having a grand time. Yeah, Gooch with 25. Yeah, this is a uh, 
a, a, a very excited Park Center basketball squad, and I certainly don't blame them. 104 to 41. The flush by Gooch. And boy, can that kid fly? Oh, yeah. Six foot two. He's not gonna. He's not the tallest kid on no, the floor. No, but he has hops. Uh, but he's definitely got some hops. And we talked about him all night. He's played really well defensively. You know, any other ball club, he, I'm thinking he's he's the number one guy oh, yeah. defenders are worried about. But here, you know, and with good reason, you, you keep your eye on uh, on Cash Chavis. Yeah, but uh, those two have combined for 59 points. Just a reminder, students at 34 and 25. Home, please start arranging them now. and Gooch, the respectively. Open a very limited time after the game. Please arrange your rides now. Oh, we got a different color uniform out there yep. even. I noticed before we had a number out there not on the varsity roster and when Probably I spoke. Probably on the JV I would imagine. You know when I spoke to, to Matt, uh, Director of Basketball Operation Trent Witts, I asked him about that anybody. If they're healthy I need to know if they're going to be out here. Yeah. And, I, and so different color jersey. I don't know if they well, I that's what the JV 15, team was wearing. I do have a 15 yep. on the roster, on the varsity roster for DeRoyce Mills. I'm going to go with that's who that is. The 25, I go down to Miles Maxey on the uh, JV roster. It looks about right. He looks about 6'4". Everybody looks 6'4 to me unless yes. they're really <laughs> tall. Oma Toyimboye off the mark for three. Pirates able to save the rebound, but the Cardinals steal it away. Belpedio coast to coast in the last That's four for Belpedio. Nemini swatted away by Jackson Young. Back in the game for Cardinals, number 21, Jason Ross. And number 23, Jackson Edward. Inbound pass stolen away by Jackson Hetwork. Hetwork. Able to score at the other end. Jackson's first points of the basketball game here with 314 remaining. I love the Cardinal faithful. I love that they're they're trying to stay in it. Yeah. But the, the overrated the chant. The overrated chant <laughs> when you're it's down overrated. By almost 60. Yeah. Make it more than 60. Memony yeah. they're far dropping from, a three-pointer. Far from overrated. <laughs> and that uh, Mr. Basketball contender is over 30 points in the game. Yep. Yeah, I, I would say uh, living up to the billing here tonight. The finger roll won't fall for Memony. Tipped out of bounds by the Cardinals. Pirates, number 14, Ronald Brown. And some of the Cardinal faithful are heading for the exits. Well, they made an announcement that uh, school, school's going to close a little bit uh, early here tonight, so everybody should make arrangements if you don't have a ride. Morky right down the lane for two. Puts it on the floor, hands it out for Hetwer up top. Long three-pointer is short. Rebound controlled by Mills. Mills to the other end. Draws a foul. We'll go to the line and shoot two. And I would say there's a good chance that's going to just about do it before those uh, free throws are finished. Yeah. Sean Freeman checking in for, I believe anyway, for the Pirates. as well as Colin O'Rourke. Yep. First one's good for Mills. Oh, 
under a minute remaining. Mills goes one for two. Russ flies to the other end and scores. Mills able to get it across. One won't fall. Russ is pass. Young able to track it down. Valpedio three-pointer from the corner won't fall. Russ underneath for Young and he's fouled. We'll see. He may not get either one of these shots off. We'll see. Well, and I, I don't know in a running time situation, I think he still gets the two free throws okay. regardless of whether the time. the time expires. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Oh, he may get him up before the time he's expires. He's going to get him yep. up, but he's going to hit one of two, and that is going to complete the scoring. The Cardinals will fall 110 to 48. Cardinals will even their record at six and six. Their record will be even at six and six with the loss. And 14 and one for this very impressive Park Center Pirate squad. Yeah, absolutely. A, a lot of athletes. They shined from the the very start and showed why they are as highly regarded as they are. Uh, Cash Chavis put on a show throughout the latter part of the first half and the early part of the second yep. half and uh, ran, ran rolled up what 34 I think he I think so with. yeah and then uh, 25 for Gooch uh, for Gooch who had a number of creative dunks uh, but as I said a couple of times in the first half was really impressive to me was how committed they were on the defensive end those same top level offensive players for the Pirates back defending as a team. Uh, there was a lot of traffic in the paint there, oh, uh, there, every, there was every single sure. time. And, and I don't know that the Cardinals had more than one, maybe two offensive boards all night. Here's a look at what we have coming up for you here on CTN. Wrestling takes on the Blaine Bengals on a Friday night. Boys hockey taking on at Spring Lake Park on Saturday. We'll be at the pool for the Bengals versus Cardinals duel coming up on Tuesday, the 23rd. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, Park Center 110, Coon Rapids 48. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Lexi Schweiner and Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young. Say goodnight.